welcome back to our channel. Welcome. In this episode, we want to share with you something more about ourselves, our stories, our experiences, and our transformation. Every week we spill out useful tips, tricks and hacks so if you haven't already please consider subscribing and if you're really interested click that bell icon and so that you can remain up to date in this journey. And guess what we are on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. Alright so why don't I go first? Sure. Alright. But actually it's freaking cold here. Should yeah. we go somewhere and I don't have my warmer? Gloves. Yeah let's go. Why not? Okay. What is your story? Who are you? Born and raised in Poland and from the first day I learned how to smile, I just keep smiling. I'm cheerful and positive from nature. Physical activity was always a huge part of my life. I was a cheerleader for basketball and volleyball team. I love dancing, absolutely love dancing and this was something wonderful that happened in my life. I wanted to share this passion with others. So I've been leading a cheerleader team, my own cheerleader team, a version mini, as you can see on the pictures. Then I became a fitness instructor and started to uh, go into fitness conventions and even started to run classes with my own clients. It was very exciting. And honestly, you have no idea about your body's limits until you stand in front of all these people and face the expectation, their expectation to smash the training. I made my way to become a lawyer. And as you can imagine, it's not very easy. Especially university, all the hours of studying and really hard work. So I had to treat myself with chocolate. And as you can imagine, like students have a lot of alcohol and stuff like that. So. Um, things started to get complicated. I come from a very simple and a humble family in Sri Lanka. I lived in a couple of countries, uh, United Kingdom, uh, New Zealand, Sri Lanka, and now I live with Vera in Poland. Uh, over the course of these few years, I've experimented with myself, uh, whether it might be drinking a shit ton of beer and eating greasy pizza at university. Um, I've tried being a vegetarian for a short amount of time. Um, I managed to qualify myself as a nutritionist. I graduated out of one of the best universities in the UK. Uh, I managed to uh, become a national level powerlifter and ultimately joined arguably one of the best investment banks in the world. Throughout all that, I figured out one thing that I needed to re-engineer the way I supposedly dieted. So I removed the word diet and figured out what works best for me. And that's the biggest change I've accomplished in this nutritional slash health journey that I've gone through over the course of the last seven years. That, in a nutshell, is who I am. What made you change and make a step towards living a healthy lifestyle? I think I was lost, confused, unstructured, with no plan or strategy how to tackle this. I knew that I wanted to be healthy, but did I really know what health means? I had hormonal acne, skin allergies, mood swings and sugar cravings, which I couldn't overcome. Problem with uh, binge eating and stubborn belly fat, which whenever I uh, managed to get rid of, I bounced back and ended up even worse. Very, very fun question to answer. What made me change? I thought successful, right? I work for a good company. Um, I had the money of what I wanted to do. But there was one thing that was missing, it made me question, do I treat myself, my body, as effectively as I could? And, and am I the most productive version of myself? And the answer for that was a big no. I was this skinny fat kid who ate pizza and drank beer. And sitting down on a corner of a hospital bed because of eating disorder, it dawned on me, am I fueling the body with the right fill. As of if I was to drive a car, choosing the wrong fill would be mind-boggling for me. With that thought, 
her journey of self-discovery started. Although the only thing that I was unaware was how long and how enjoyable that journey would be. And did you manage to change? How do you feel right now? This was quite simple, really. I started to do things differently, making very small steps every day, which felt very seamless. I learned a lot about myself and my needs. One day I realized what the hell has happened. I was doing stuff for health purposes, like eating organic whole foods with no restriction, using eco-organic toiletries being active, meditate for the first time, trying different type of exercise, having very balanced diet. And as a side effect, I overcame all the issues I had. I got rid of my acne. The one was quite important for me because it started to affect my self-confidence. I got rid of skin allergies. I balanced my hormones, so no binge eating anymore and skyrocketed sugar cravings. My weight is stable now and throughout the one year and a half I lost around 10 pounds not trying to do so. Don't get me wrong with all the transformation thing. The most important part which has changed is not visible for you. You can only see the difference which is very visible. A few kilograms down, less belly fat. But what actually for me what was most important and what is most important is that I feel different, I think different. I feel better with my mind, with my body, with my thoughts. I think I'm just more positive. And I absolutely love my body on both these pictures. And I would never swap with anyone else, even if it would be possible. But definitely then, I was less healthy and less happy. That is why the greatest advice I can give you is to just start wanting to be healthy. Everything else will come seamlessly. This literally was my secret for happiness. Nutritious food, physical activity, moderation and small steps. How do I feel now? As I mentioned before, I feel, I feel great on most instances. I have good energy levels and I have the thirst to learn. And I think those two things collectively drive a better version of any human being. But all in all, there were four things that literally helped me become a better version of myself. The first thing that comes to my mind is self-confidence. What I'm trying to do in front of a piece of glass talking to you is trying to be, is trying to sell the idea of what we've learned to you and help you grab that and become part of this community. It's just like that, when you leave self-confidence unattended, you naturally close yourself for opportunities that might be out there. So with a limited amount of knowledge, but the most obvious choice was getting into the gym. So I started the gym, then started to meditate, then started to cook, and all of these little tools helped me become a confident version of myself, whether it may be public speaking or standing up to someone at a bar. Um, next one's anger management. There were certain things that a little comment from a colleague or a, or a friend would tick me off, and it would literally drive me through to levels of lack of concentration, uh, higher levels of stress and anxiety, and actually ruin the whole of my day. However, how I managed to get through this piece of challenge was through meditation. Not by 10 days, not by, not by two years, but six years. The toughest part was to actually build a habit. I think over the course of trying it for six years, only the last year and a half have I been able to consistently do it every single day. With meditation as a tool, I've managed to control the anger and thereby translating it into better areas of personal development and actually managing stronger and long-lasting relationships. Third one's mind. With no care for mind and the body, I abused the body. I ate just enough to pass an exam or just enough so that I could last a day at work. But when I came home, I was completely drained. All I wanted to do was pick up that remote and turn on Netflix and just relax and fall asleep in my couch. And with a sudden thought, I felt like I'm wasting my life. I needed to do something about it. So not overnight, but over the course of the last five years, now I managed to wake up early in the morning, maybe five or 5.30 in the morning, finding eight more hours during the day to do something and use that time on other productive ventures other than 
my professional career. Just to give an example, over the course of the last year, we managed to pick up basic levels of Spanish, start a YouTube channel, understand basics of photography, animation and video editing, learn rollerblading, travel five countries, tried cooking different things and enjoy the time with each other. Ooh, the last one, the most closest and the most effective I feel, digestion. There's proven fact that this links to all of the things that I shared before, whether it may be self-confidence, whether it's anger management, whether it's productivity. Have you ever heard the phrase that, ooh, if you're hungry, you're gonna be angry. The reason for this, just like with majority of the people, it was misinformed media, the rush for us to become successful in our multitasking jobs and little to no attention paid to our health. As I mentioned before, by completely re-engineering the way I defined my diet, I moved away from food dependency to food independence. And that for me translated to eating whole foods, nourishing my mind and having a sustainable level of physical activity to become a better version of myself. With all that said, what are your next steps? So what next? A lot. This is just the beginning and I never stop. I realized that through my whole life, I was learning, teaching and helping others. And I just want to continue to do this, but no longer as a fitness instructor or, or even a lawyer. YouTube is my new passion and first start after being reborn. There is a lot of to come yet in terms of personal growth, training even harder and learning to deliver all this stuff on this channel. Probably I mentioned this before, we are perpetual learners. So I hope you would like to join this journey and build with us a supportive community of healthy and happy people. That's an exciting question. It's an addiction, hopefully a healthy and a moderated addiction. I'm pretty sure the people sitting around at work would disagree with me. But although with all of this information that we've learned and implemented and found useful over the course of the last few years, we want to continue to grow and share that information and build a community that would absorb that information alongside with you. And with the hope that everyone treats themselves not with material possessions, but with health and perspective. And we are going to do our very best to connect those dots just for you. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, as always, please give it a thumbs up because it really supports our channel. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.